And I think we do that by programming our language of how we speak to others first, right? Seldom though is it coming from other people. Oftentimes I find it's likely the way your parents uh, spoke to you. Maybe it was the way his dad spoke to him. Maybe his dad was a hard driving coach and he was always, he, that, that's how he felt. At a highly impressionable point in his life. Right. Typically around a potentially traumatic experience. Sure. So that's how he's wired to hear that voice. Right. Because he believes it produces a greater outcome. Even if it's not a true reflection sure. of who his dad was or who right. his dad became. Sure. But, you know, a lot of times these, these intersections that create real anchored perspectives and beliefs, they happen around moments that you can say are traumatic. Of course. And we call them traumatic, but really they're intensely yep. impactful, yep. right? And just like one of the best ways to create some of these locked in anchors of negative perspective mm -hmm. is in moments of trauma or moments of high emotional uncertainty or sure. threat. Sure.